Hey y'all, welcome back to the stream. I forgot to turn on the mic before starting again. And hi Amago, welcome. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. If I'd been if I'd gotten a Psyduck instead of Meowth. Um I guess I, yeah, I could have recolored my talking sprite. And made more work for myself? Hell yeah, I love <laughs> honestly I would do it. And I do even though it sounds like a joke, I do like to make more work for myself. Um but here we are. I just I just want to appreciate this theme. I really love this theme, that it's here and in the, uh, like, the main town area, the hub area. It's just so cozy. How can anything be wrong in this world? How could it, how could anything bad happen with this as your background? <laughs> yeah, you would think a recolor wouldn't take much time, but I didn't build out my, uh, I didn't exactly build out my project file, all that, uh, all that easy to... No, that's not true. I used a mask. I used a mask for each color, so like each color is a different layer, and so you can just sort of like fill the entire space and the mask will adjust, but it's... Generating a new GIF is, ends up being annoying because whatever. Like I could have taken... I could have gone to like Sprite's resource, I guess. Sprite's resource and got the, uh, the Meowth sprites and used that, but I kind of want to just... I still kind of want to be... I want to be me. So weird in Pokemon how they don't have their own names. Oh yeah. I think it would be so complicated. Don't they sometimes in the anime some Pokemon have their own trainers give Pokemon unique names? But like yeah, not in the not in the games for sure. It's only the trade Pokemon. Trade Pokemon get their own unique names in the games, but other than that, no. Whoops. All right, I thought we could talk to Bolt, to Frog, but I guess not. I mean, I guess arguably the species name, like, is the name for all Pokemon, but they get nicknames. And it's just that most people don't nickname their Pokemon. I mean, actually, you know what? What if everybody... You're the only person who has their own name in Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, that's true. It must be really... It would be really... Con I, I was thinking that last time. Or actually, the first time I heard about Mystery Dungeon, I was thinking, like, wouldn't it be a confusing world to live in? Because there are multiple Magnemites. We've already met them. How do they tell each other apart? Magnemite 1, Magnemite 2. Uh, sure, let's read this. Saving your adventure and Pokemon news. If your mailbox is full, you won't get the latest issue of the news. Okay. Good news, everyone. Okay, we got our job list. Um, yeah, we were gonna go check on recruits. I guess you can only take one companion at a time. Um, ooh, power plant's cool. And it operates without having to use Voltorbs as, like, animal labor. Oh, cool, they have the, like, tape... They have the magnetic tape machines, like, in, in old games. Oh, we can take more than one. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, you appear to be a little tense. What's going on? Summary. Oh, you're level six already. Cool. Cool, cool. Tactics, let's go together. Oh yeah, we have steel type, because this is uh, generation three, technically. We've seen a shift tree already. I say technically, it's generation three. Uh, oh, it's sturdy. Okay. I don't know type advantage matters in, in this game, right? I guess levitation would have been better, but sturdy's okay. Um, yeah. Join team. Let's oh, so join the rescue team. Oh, he doesn't. He didn't follow. It. It doesn't follow us around in the in the overworld, though. Each species has a size, and your party can't go over a certain total size. Oh, it's almost like a like you have a capacity. Oh wow. This looks like a My Little Pony area, you know what I mean? The, the massive rainbow in the background. Uh, but there's no bee here. Type advantage works, but it doesn't affect... It's like a not very effective instead. Oh, there's no, there's no super effective, it's only resistances? Okay, we got all these regions to visit, uh... Potential companions, I see. Oh, 
oh, oh, immunity isn't a thing. Oh, that's odd. I wonder why they did it like that. Well, uh, we got our companion. Let's, I guess let's check the board. We're not at a point where we have to worry about it too much, I suppose. Um, oh, the one thing I was thinking of doing, I, was, I may as well just link up my moves because I don't use them very often. Yeah, and they have similar points, so I may as well. Well, let's scratch. Well, it's only 150. Okay. Although I know Scratch has more PP than that. Link with... Oh, they're... Wait, we can't link them together? What are you saying? What? Oh. What? So wait, are these linked now or no? You just can't r link some stuff. What if I do this? Can we link them now? No. Wait, now it is links, right? Right? The, fe the feedback here is confusing. I guess that's linked now. Uh, do we want to link any of these? I don't think so. Oh, you know what? We can link... Let's link with uh, Growl. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Uh, we want to do this then. Okay, I think I understand. Yeah, and I kind of want... I want this priority, I think. Oh, super effective is 1.4. Not very effective is 0.7, and, and what would be immune is half. Oh. If I was in the remake, some of numbers might be... might not be the same. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to say at this stage, I'm not crazy... I'm not too concerned with... I'm not too concerned with, um... Uh, let's do let's do this. I'm not too concerned with um, getting really deep in strategy, but that's that's interesting to know. Oh no! Wait, I'm confused. Did I not just did I not just link moves? Like, are these not links? I don't understand. <laughs> I think they are, right? Uh, oh, right. That's an area with a uh, West Cash who's like doom and gloom or something, and we can buy more houses. Oh yeah. Once you run out of PP for either move, they get delinked, unlinked. You have to pay to link them. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. Oh boy. Uh. Mount Steel's kind of tough, but let's at least get let's let's get at least these ones because we're already going to Thunder Wave Cave, I think. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> the what the two ones we have are the Tiny Woods. I guess we'll start with Tiny Woods and we'll we'll go for it from there. Okay, at least paying to link them up isn't too expensive. Oh yeah, I was gonna put away a, I was gonna store a bunch of items, but I forgot. Oh, we can choose more than- oh, we can link- we can, like, do a bunch of items. Okay, nice. I think we can save these. Uh, I like the idea of having two apples going into these places. Maybe one of certain berries. Yeah. Uh, nope, I think we're good. I assume we only have two toolboxes. I'm trying to make make the most of it. Oh, Levitate does make you immune to ground-type moves. Okay. Yeah, so it may, that makes it a more valuable ability, I guess. 
Uh, Alright, let's just do Tiny Woods. Let's make it a good warm-up. A good warm-up mission. And uh, I do really like that they tell you... They tell you if, um, you, when you reach a floor that's, uh, got, like, a mission on it. I like that. Yeah, just regular, what a normal type of immunity you would expect isn't true. Yeah. To, to be fair, if it was, that would make ghost Pokemon way overpowered, because I guess regular attacks would count as normal. Like the A button attack. Uh, so, like, you know, if you encountered a Ghastly at the beginning of the game, you wouldn't be able to do anything against it. <gasps> no, Sunkern, I don't want to fight you! Bye. Oops. Oh, I took no damage. <laughs> we're a little overpowered for this area, aren't we? I wonder if it gets tougher later. Oh, and we're just back here. <gasps> Pidgey! Do you think it would be typeless? Yeah, I, I, as I said it, I was like, maybe it is type. Maybe it is a typeless move. Oh, what? Wait, we cleared it. What? Wait, I thought it. Oh, did we not accept the quest? Ah, oh, flip sake. The rescue team members dispersed from the friend areas. Oh, if you want to add members to the rescue team, go visit them. Oh. So we have to go into the rescue area, uh, into the visitor area every time we want to add them? That seems a little tedious. Oh, we got a letter. I guess it means that I'm not going to bother picking up, you know, extra members unless we need them. Or maybe it was based on... You want to go on a rescue job? First need to accept and then take job. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for reminding me after I went on the quest. Uh, okay. Uh, no, we need to uh, we need to take it first. <laughs> I can't. I forgot. I forgot the rules already. Um, but I wonder if I wonder if the mag if lodestone dispersed because. Did Lodestone disperse because it, um... Because it was, like, in a bad mood when we picked it up? Or is it... Or did they always disperse, like, after every quest? Because it seems a little... T like, I don't want to go pick them up again. Like, having just done a... Done a dungeon. Okay, well, we can just go right away. Okay, yeah. And even though we're right there, we gotta we gotta go look around. Or wait, was that the Pidgey? I think it was yellow on the map. Oops. Well I'm gonna get some We got money here, so I may as well get it. I think our I think our uh target Pidgey was like right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, come back. No, dude, I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> I'll use the rescue badge. Oh, no, I don't want to leave. I forgot. No. Uh, they got... They got beamed up. Mr. Scott. <gasps> it's a warm pole. Angry, angry warm pole. Oh, so much for warm pole. Okay. I didn't mean to press start. Oh, another warp. I guess we're not gonna do- we're not gonna complete, like, every quest that comes up, right? Oh, hey, Math. Well, welcome. Welcome to the- to the stream. Oh, hey, we found- oh, we found our, uh, we found our- I was gonna say our target, but we're not- we're not gonna do anything to the, we're rescuing the Ratatou. How's it going, Math? Glad to have you here. Okay, we completed our mission. We got beamed out. Nice. People on the internet being terrible again. Aw, oh, that sucked. It's kind of hard to avoid, isn't it? 
as, as best as you as best as you try. Excuse me, adjusting in my chair. Yeah. That's why we got we got Meowth dancing in place to make us happy. And the very and the very lovely music as well. Yeah. Exactly. Like a little dino dance. Okay. What do we get? Oh, we got some requests. Really? Alright. I was attacked when I was sitting still. I feel faint. That's poor Firo. Uh, I'm not even gonna read it. Let's just let's just accept him. I'd like to get to the Thunder Wave Cave to do these other ones that we've accepted, but I guess we're just gonna do this for now. Alright, here we go. Oh, this has version exclusives. I should have known. DS version probably gets some, like, really cool stuff. I bet the DS version gets Skuntank or something. I got very disappointed playing, uh... Because I picked... Between Diamond and Pearl, I picked, uh... I picked Pearl, and then I realized that Stunky and Skuntank aren't in it. <laughs> they're, they're in Diamond. No, ah, uh, crap, I keep doing this. This is like... The menuing in this is like, uh... It's just as difficult as, um... Getting a new move in, po in like, regular Pokémon. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know, you know you can slide it into the DS, yeah. Actually, I heard that there was a very, uh... Mm, unfortunate bug. A little bit like a certain famous Bethesda bug. Uh, no, not this other a very, a very famous uh, bungee bug, where um, if you inserted, uh, if you inserted any, uh, any, th uh, game Game Boy Advance game other than Mystery Dungeon Red, into the cartridge along with, uh, like while you had Mystery Dungeon Blue in the DS slot, it would like erase the cartridge data or something. I don't know if it just erased your save data, but it would like mess with the cartridge. We went bite. Nice. And getaway was added to my list of useful usable tactics. Okay. That doesn't really help me because I'm not running on auto. Uh, but yeah, there's this big there's this big scandal. They actually shipped out new uh, replacement DS cartridges to um to replace everything. Okay, cool. So now we got Bite. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, so if you ever do play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue uh, on an actual DS, then be very careful about what cartridge you put into the other slot. You better not, like, accidentally leave whatever GBA game you were last playing in there, because you may lose it. Or you may lose your data. I don't, I don't know which one it was. But it was a lot like that Bungie... I forgot what game it was. It was one of the games they'd made before Halo. There's this game that famously, if you tried to uninstall it, it would erase, like, the parent directory, which would, like, just brick your computer. Yeah. Oh, you might have an OG. You might have an OG uh, Pokemon Rescue Team, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Yeah. yeah, DS Pokemon had global trade, that's true. And that still kind of works. I actually was looking for a Stunky on the global trade network the other day, and they wanted a level 100 Lugia. There's only one. There's only one on the whole global trade network, and they were looking for a Lugia at level 100 for their Stunky. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't want a Stunky that bad. I'll just play Platinum. Oh, the Japanese version of Rescue Team that does it. Okay. So, I guess we don't have to worry in North America. That's good to know. They fixed it before they localized it. 
Yeah. Oh, mystery character. Okay, we've got plot. I've got to do voices. Is this the place where that team named Conifer is based? That's right, I named the team about... Oh, I picked the right voice. I, I named the team after my, one of my favorite team members from the Gold playthrough. There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Yeah, who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable. Or is that the voice I gave Shiftry? Who are you people? Oh, over here, a mailbox. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Now wait a second, what do you think you're doing? Yes, a rescue job offers. Ooh la la, isn't that rather tasty? And I really don't like Medicam's design. Med Medicam, Medicham. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> Who are you people? Parents turn out to be fake. We'll have them all. It's time. Those were meant for us. Don't butt in. Okay. It doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too, I'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have the cover of a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. Oh, they're, cr they're like crooked cops. We have our eyes on world domination. So regular cops for the most part. Oh, snap, that was a sick burn. Uh, what a sick burn, world domination. Oh, yeah. Fixed, fixed version of blue rescue team. KK, you hired right. That's why we're raking in the cash and adding it to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil, Team Meanies is who we are. See you around, KK. It's okay, Frog, we already got rescue team. Like, we got a bunch of undone rescue team. <laughs> rescue missions we gotta do. Now wait a second. They took off. What an unbelievable bunch. Oh, you wonder if Mandy Cham's a girl? I was re I was reading it like James. <laughs> if she's the only female rescue team member between Alkazam, Shiftry, and Gengar. Oh no, it's a it is empty. Oh, did they even steal our tutorial message? They took everything. Oh nope. Pelipper is a Pelipper is here with the rescue with the update message. Oh yeah, you think we'd be able to report the mail is stolen to yeah to like the Pelipper post postal service the PPO. I'd like to report a, a federal offense, mail theft. I don't know. Although is the PPO like a, a yeah a, a, a felony? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. But is the PPO like a, a government organization? I don't know if it would if it would count in Pokemon World. We're in luck. Pelipper delivers some mail. We can go on rescue missions again with this. I mean, there's the bulletin board, dude. That's basically what we've been using most of the time. But not these guys. They'd better not try anything if we see them again. I think, based on the title screen, it's Scream. Ah, title screen! Based on the title screen, it sounds like, um... It looks to me like, uh... You know what, let's just do the Mount Steel ones. Because there are a bunch of them back at the bulletin board. But it seems to me that, like, Charmander is the, like, canon protagonist and Bulbasaur is the canon companion. Like, I've just accidentally chosen the, the kind of canon option there. <laughs> You'd probably make Alakazam's team mad. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Although, I gotta be honest, I'm not, I don't totally trust Alakazam. You see, it, it and its team seem pretty shifty to me. Like, Shiftry... The way they were... I was gonna say, the way they handled Shiftry... Oh, wait, did I not put these away? The way that it handled Shiftry sounded a lot like, um... Was very, like, uh... Like, talking down to them. And I, maybe it's a Japanese thing. Because, like, what I noticed is that they were, like... They kind of guilt-tripped Shiftry into helping out the jump bluff that they weren't gonna help. Um, but they did it in a way that felt very... Oh, near Mount Steel. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe it's a Japanese thing where it's like... 
it would have been rude for Shiftry to just butt in and like take take the job instead. I don't know. It's very 5,000 IQ to me, really? I don't know, I feel like that's kind of straightforward deduction, if you ask me. <laughs> I, I'm being Sherlock Holmes right now, like classic Holmes, where it's like, if you if you pay a little attention, this is very, this is rudimentary, my dear Watson, you see. IQ and low social, social skills often go hand in hand. <laughs> oh, are you saying, uh, uh, is that, are you, are you commenting on me or Alakazam? Because <laughs> they did say he has a high IQ. He can he can do a lot of uh he can do a lot of moves move types without being prompted. Oh dang, this Exagoon is, is hitting hard. Wait, uh, that is not the move I meant to do. I forgot that we're at a difficult area. <laughs> yeah, on Alexander. No, I th I thought you were talking to Alexander. <laughs> that would have been a pretty sick burn to be like, oh, so very high high IQ of you. But, you know, social skills, low social skills go hand in hand with high IQ, don't you know? Oh, dang, Frog just got him. All right. I gotta remember that I have the Graveler Rocks, too. I have like 21 of them. But here's they imply high IQ is equal to good memory, which is not the case. Like IQ is, yeah, and IQ is kind of a BS number. That's true. Nice. Oh, I forgot we have Bite active. That's a dark move. I gotta remember that. I always... I, I'm... Even though I'm... Uh, even though I'm, I've been getting very familiar with Gen 4 lately, like, I do forget some stuff. Like, this should be... Yeah, super effective. Because I remember Baltoy is part psychic. Oh. Good job, Frog. Okay, we're not, we're kind of looking for, we may as well go down, up another level. Yeah, I don't know. I think IQ is just like an easy shorthand for a game like this. And it is ultimately, even though it's hard, a hard game, it's, it's meant for children. So like, I can appreciate that they kind of just, they take IQ to mean that the Pokemon is capable of more things at once. I don't know. They could have been, like, ability points or something. Okay, hang on. And we're gonna do this, and we're going to... Is it R? Oh, no, L and R. L is, like, activated thing, and then R is, like... No? L and B. Oh, no, that's the... Wait. Do, do I not have the Graveler Rock equipped? Set. Here we go. There we are. I guess it wasn't set, because I was using it... His sister was thinking Sherlock Holmes also didn't figure out all his cases. Yeah, it's true. That's something I like about old Sherlock stories, is that they were... They were a little more complicated. And, like, The Hound of the Baskervilles is famous for a reason, partly because, like, Watson does a lot of the footwork there. He's all by himself. Until you get a buffer overrun. <laughs> Every IQ is one more thing you can do until you get a buffer overrun. That's a good... That's a good combo chat there. C -c -c combo breaker. Okay, let's do this, and we'll do we'll do big we'll do big brain plays. Go get him, frog. Nice. <laughs> then you can do minus six five six five five six five. Oh, this is our our guy. This is this is our this is our rescue team. This is our, uh, distressed Pidgey. There we go. I wish we could be out of menus. They don't let us be out. Like in other Pokemon games. Oh, and I forgot to, whatever. When too many people can become able to do more things, they lose the ability to do things. That, that's part of Sherlock Holmes that I don't totally agree with. He had this, like... I remember that he had this spiel that was like, my brain can only hold so many things, so I, I, like, deliberately don't know about the Bible and other common things that people know about. And then sure enough, in a later, um, that, that proves to be not true when he quotes a Bible verse in, like, a later story, but... I don't know, he has this idea that is kind of pseudoscience-y about, like, the brain only, can only hold so much information. But, like, he... he it's in a way that's, like, maybe 
kind of... It's like like the information that you hold in your brain kind of degrades over time. Like I think it's it's sort of a mis it's sort of a it doesn't work like a uh, computer or anything. Uh, speaking of degrading brains, mission here you go. Uh, we rescued Pidgey, so we're done. Oh, we don't have anything on floor on four, so we can just clear our debuffs by going down, up a floor. Oh yeah, sure. IQ is such a meaningless number. Yeah, that's true. That's something people... I think a lot of people don't know about IQ, actually. I'm glad you brought that up, Amako, because it's like... IQ, any IQ test has to be calibrated against, like, some known standard. So, IQ on its own is a meaningless number. It doesn't... it doesn't mean anything. You have to... um... oops. You have to... oops. Whoa! Oh. Meditate just, like shook up the entire arena, and I thought that was more important than it was. Oh, oops, I did the wrong thing. I, I tried to bite in Frog's direction. Do you bite at me, sir? No, but I do bite in your general direction. You tend to oops a lot of the time. <gasps> Alright. Frog, I think you can, like, leech seed over me, right? Oh, tail whip. God, Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon is a big hitter. I need to, like, actually hit it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no, I pressed start. Ah, oh, flip's sake. Just chomp on him. Okay, I think I hit start while the turn was still going, and so it didn't work. There we go. I imagine those Graveler Rocks are not all that useful after... Uh, in higher level areas. Eating that bulb. <gasps> no, I can't do that. Uh, Zigzagoon... Zigzagoon... Zigzagoon is adorable, I agree. But yeah, Zigzagoon is very cute. I kind of hope so that we get one uh, when I eventually play Emerald. My idea is that I would like to do... I would like to do the Pokemon, like the Pokedex completion for... Uh, third gen at some point. Um, I don't know how hard that's going to be, but... I'm also hoping to do a, uh... It'd also be nice to do a... The, the Nuzlocke run. For that generation. And that one's probably gonna come first. Oops. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and have a Zigzagoon friend for the Nuzlocke. Yo! Good job, Frog. Frog's a smart feller. I actually don't know what gender Frog is. You want to say you found a use for them, at least, to chip away life? Yeah. They're also- I think they learn a lot of HMs, too, so they'll be good pathfinders. Which is a problem I found in 4th gen, because I've had trouble finding a Pokémon that can learn Waterfall, like, and Rock Smash and the other stuff. Because Rock Smash, you need it in a lot of places. And, like, Bibarel is part water. You'd think it would be able to learn Waterfall, but it can't. What's really annoying, actually, the reason I wanted a Stunky so bad is because it can learn Defog. Whoa, that was huge damage from Vine Whip. Jeez, Frog is stronger than I am. I thought, I thought the Scratch Cat was supposed to be pretty tough. Oh wait, did we actually rescue our rescue our our, our critter? I think we did from the last floor. Leaf Green, you picked a Sea King for your team. Oh, cool. Learns Waterfall naturally by leveling up. Yeah. That's true, because that level... Waterfall was like a, a Gen 1 move that didn't used to be an HM. Which I never knew about, because, like, I never... I never used a, uh... Oops. Because I never used, like, a, a Goldene or a Sea King. Seriously. Oh. Oh, right. So when you got to Four Island, you, you got to skip getting the HM. Oh, yeah. That's clever. Oh, wait. I think we could have left, actually. Oops. Because we've done all our, uh... Oh, no, wait. Zigzagoon is on level 8. eight eighth floor, so we got one more. We gotta, we gotta rescue Zigzagoon this this time. Uh oh. Okay, let's do this so that we're in range. 
Can you give him a little bite? Oh, never mind. All right. We know there's a Tyrogue around here, so don't use Bite on it, because it resists Dirk, Dirk moves. Okay. Oh, actually, we do want the stairs, because if... Almost nobody knows that the Waterfall is a Gen 1. Yeah. That's true. I think I only know about it because I was trying to make, like, a Pokemon fan game years and years ago, and so I was compiling all this data. I was compiling, like, a lot of data on Pokemon in, like, a JSON format or whatever I was doing. I think it's the only reason I know that. Um, but yeah, like, you, you discover a lot of interesting things when you really dive into, like, how Generation 1 Pokemon works. Not to mention the later ones. Oh, I should check my belly. Oh, we're okay. Pet, pet. Checks belly. Okay. Oh, there you are. You're right near the stairs. Uh, went, went, this, and top. We have to target. Target the zigzag. Thank you. Come see me at the Pelipper Post Office. Yeah. Uh, a mission is going to be completed. All of them. Yay. Hooray. Oh yeah, we've been gathering team points. I guess that'll unlock something eventually, like a new area. Huchayun is a pretty cute guy, too. A cute critter. Much like Houndour, though, it turns into much, much, much more serious big dog. Or big hyena in this case. Ooh, we went up a rank. We're in the bronze rank now. Noise. Cool, we're getting, all, we're getting a lot of items. Wow. Then we do it good today. Let's call it a night and get some rest. See you tomorrow. Yes. Why does it default to no for saving my adventure? Like, no, no, I, I don't want to... No, no, I couldn't possibly. Oh, I... No way, I, I... Not at all. Save my adventure? No, never. I didn't do anything important just now. Good morning, Pete. Let's do good again today. Pete, frog. How's Caterpie? Oh, Caterpie, how have you been? Uh, please. Please help my friend. What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods. He's still lost out there. Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. Kick, kick, kick. That almost rhymes. I say, I see, that does sound bad. Kick, kick, kick. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear, we're here to save that your chum Metapod. Hold on, Caterpie came to us for help. Kid, <laughs> you think you can rescue? You can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? We're bronze level, I'll have you know. We're not amateurs anymore. It doesn't matter who does the rescue and see. The guy that does the rescue and gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? And how about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum foist? Uh, but I. I don't have any money. Oh, don't you worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with interest afterward. Kehehe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can even join our team. There's enough you can't refuse. Get its reference. When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you a in be a big wheel in Team Meanies. Kehehehehe. <laughs> it's the deal, Frag. The place to the rescue wins. Come on, move. Let's get this done already. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll save your friend first. Pete, let's get going. <laughs> and dance. I'll, I'll, I don't have anything to say, I just dance. Oh, no, jo no jobs. Um, I guess we can activate some other jobs if it's in the same area, right? Oh, wait, did we... Wait, do we not actually have the job? I don't have any money in. 
I don't want to join those meanies. Please, Bean, help us. Is it this one? Aaron passed out from the heat. No, that's not it. Is it in the Pokemon news? Hang on. No. I guess let's go to the bulletin board. Don't you have Magnemite as a team member? I do, but it ran off. It, like, went back to the, like, camp after the first one. So I guess I'll get it. Uh, I'll go get it when, um, before we do this quest. Okay, Spiro got attacked. Also, Spiro got attacked. And Pidgey. I guess if we leave, we'll just get it, right? Uh, wait, what's in our job list? Uh, you know what? I guess we should only accept, like, one... We should only accept, like, one area at a time. But it was in the tiny forest, right? I'll go pick up Magnemite in a minute, though. Oops. Oh, oops. I forgot we gotta do this. Yeah. And let's get some items done. Gosh, we got so many of these orbs. What is the warp orb? I guess you can just sort of like leave the dungeon. Oh, warps foes in the same room to other places on the same floor. I don't really like that one. Uh, let's see. I think this is a good amount of stuff to put away. But yeah, let's go get lodestone. Did I name did I name the Magnemite from my red red blue playthrough Lodestone? I think I might have. It's like it's a kind of name I would choose. Check IQ. Oh yeah, I guess we could we could make it an exclusive move user. I don't really like the idea of doing that. Oh yeah, what are you doing dinner, Mav? I used to like this place a lot. I'll give it a gummy. Oh wait, is its is its belly not full? And it's on full health and stuff. Yeah, I don't know why. Join team. I don't know why Lord Stone. I guess we'll. F I guess it'll leave again. <laughs> you want to eat food, but you're lazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I can still smell somebody. Somebody in the nearby apartment is uh, is cooking up something nice. Oh, not tiny woods. Sinister woods. This is a new area. Uh, but somebody's been cooking up something nice in the. Uh, uh, in an apartment that's close enough for me to smell it in, in this room. And it's like, oh, it smells so good. But it's probably a meat dish. I guess whatever the sauce is smells good. This must be it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should be in there already. We need to hurry. The sinister woods. Oh, yeah, you need to wash some dishes. <gasps> Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo is a tough, tough critter. Tough customer. Does it not move though? Well, oh, there's a swine up in here. Okay, look out! Look out for that frog, cause you're uh, you're weak to ice moves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pseudo wood. Oh, crack, crack. Oh, sweet scent. That's what it's doing. Okay, I mean, evasion is not like really important at this level, is it? Are they really gonna dodge us all that much? Oh, right, I need to move up so that they... Oh, never mind. They're not going to move forward, I guess. But now that I have three team members, I can kind of do, like, a pincer move or something. <gasps> There's a swine up! Oh, a swine up looks so cute. I'm going to leave so we don't have to fight it. Although, we probably will have to. I bet we will have to fight it in a minute. There it is. Go get him, frog. Okay, it kept the graveler rock. <gasps> it dodged. But we have to pick it up again. Oh, that's nice. If you miss with the graveler rock, you can potentially pick it back up. Oh, uh, oh boy. Uh, let's do this. Uh, almost. I was hoping to do that, and then, like, Swine Up would go... Up, up towards Bulbasaur, and like we'd be able to get all of them. 
Oh. Nice, good job. Good job, Bloodstone. Now we're lined up so we can all hit him. This is what I was trying to do before. Recruit new party members by defeating them in battle. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That's like one of the more unusual uh, aspects of this. So that, like, ideally we want to we want to fight Pilo uh, Swine up so we can get it later, right? Okay, let's get let's get everybody on the. Uh... Wait, how do I get how do I get you on here? Can I get you to? Can we like line up in a line here, Lodestone? This, there we go. It's like a puzzle game. Oh, Swinub! There's a Senzu bean over there. Whoa! I forgot you have Vine Whip. I guess ice doesn't resist grass, does it? Is that a Sudowoodo down there? No. Oh, it's just a sleeping Swinub. Let's let sleeping Swinubs lie. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know that feeling. <laughs> You want to eat, but you got dishes to, to do first. Oh. Dang, why is, why is Frog so strong? <laughs> Frog is like the strongest member of the party. I guess Frog is like secretly the actual protagonist, right? Get it, Sudowoodo. Oh, Sudowoodo cringed. Oh. Gosh, what did you, what did you do, Frog? <laughs> You got some pseudo wudo cringe. You uh shared you like were too honest about sharing your anime preferences online. And you made pseudo wudo cringe. It's like, oh no. Don't you know that one piece is kinda cringe? Didn't you hear about his creator? Real messed up dude. Whoops. St standing up for a real messed up dude, I mean. Okay. It's this item. Do we want it? Oh, it's not. It's a wonder thing. I forgot the wonder spaces are, are little dots. There's tiny little dots. Pokemon-y. Yum. Delicious. I love money. I love to gobble it all up. Meow meows eat money, right? That's their whole thing. <gasps> Is that a ca- Silcoon? Oh, that was a Cascoon. Oops, I forgot to turn. Oh, poor Silcoon only knows how to- how to- how to d defend itself. Defense. Defense. Harden. Yeah, we got you surrounded. <laughs> I'm feeling like this the meanie gang right now. Surrounding this poor ca uh, Silcoon. Oh, it, it does no tackle. Alright, well. Too late for you. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I didn't realize. Has there always been, like, this fog of war? Is that... Is that just on this- is that started on this floor? Get in there, frog! Oh, dang. That vine- I swear that vine whip is really strong. I got a jackpot. <gasps> Shroomish! Heck yeah, Shroomish time! Oh, let's... Wait, is it gonna move forward? I guess not. I'm gonna throw a rock. Nice. Maybe we've got a Shroomish on the party. That'd be pretty cool. That, that's one of the things that I'm really enjoying about this one, is not knowing what Pokémon are in the game or not. Um, because 
I have a feeling it's not every Pokemon from from all three gens. So we get to oh Sunflora, oh, awesome, love Sunflora. But hopefully we'll we'll get to oh crap, we'll get to oh crap. Okay, uh, I think I need to wait. I need to move, and I'll eat a berry. Yeah, good job, Frog. And I grew a level for that. Oh, Centret. Hello. I'm gonna chomp you. <gasps> we scared it. No, no, you don't get to run away from us. We're gonna recruit you later. We gotta be careful. I don't think we have any more healing items, do we? That was the only Oran berry in the toolbox. Well, no, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Oh, there's a Lady Baw over there. I love Lady Baw. Is that what I'm gonna say for like every other? All right, Blast Seed, Breathe Fire. Rost is Heal Burn. You have a Reviver Seed. Oh, a green gummy. That's good for, um, bug-type Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that'd be good for grass. What's the Petcha Berry? I threw it by accident. Oh, poisoned. Okay. I'll just have to be smarter about getting uh, attacked. Yeah, Thundershock. Add a boy, Woodstone. Add a, add a guy. Add a, add a critter. And I need to, I need to brush up on, oh, that's a Lunoon. Oh, that's dangerous. Um, I need to brush up on my, uh, gender, my non-gendered terms. Okay, we got, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, they do have a regenerate, generation one to three Pokemon, really? That's insane. Oh, hello, Shroomish. Is this a shroomish that just picked up the gummy? You're infamous. Oh, it is. A brown gummy. Is that for ground Pokemon, I guess? But dang. I'd love to have a team of just stage one Pokemon, or, or basic Pokemon running around this game. Because you never get to really, you don't really get to use them uh, once you've leveled them up in normal Pokemon games. Like, nobody's gonna have a Bulbasaur go to the Elite Four unless it's a challenge run, you know? That's a good reason for a challenge run, though, I guess. But, like, you're not you're not gonna have a Caterpie, right, at the Elite Four, because, like, well, you don't know any moves with a Caterpie. Like, by definition. So it's cool to have a game where maybe you can actually utilize those other Pokémon. That's something I like about the uh, Pokémon contests. Sad, sad J Rose noises. Oh. Hi, Magnemite. I didn't mean to talk to you. I was trying to do this. Oh, wrong thing. I didn't know you could talk to them in, com in the middle of the dungeon. That's interesting. Yeah, you missed. For a second, that headbutt looked like it had two E's in it, like it was heed butt. Magnemite leveled up. Do they still do the Pokemon contests in recent games? I feel like they've got it. Right? Or do Scarlet and Violet not have it? Mudkip? Man, there's like every Pokemon in here. Or like so many that we haven't seen, I mean. Oh yeah, and this is before the physical special split, too, so... I don't have to know what all the moves are to know if, uh, special defense is, is relevant. Oh man, I wish I- I wish I could command these... 
I wish I could command my team a little better, because there's, like... Lodestone is the only one who can, like, actually hit this Lanoon right now. <laughs> Man, I gotta be smarter about how I, uh, move this team around. Like that, there we go. Okay. Lady Ba is not especially smart about movement, so we can kind of, like, lock it in. There we go. You resting a turn strategically, you see. Only Gen 3 and 4 do contests in the remakes. Really? <gasps> oh, Lady Bomb wants to join the team! Yeah! New member join the team. Yes, of course we'll give it a nickname. Um, you're gonna be... I'm gonna name you this after, um, my Pokémon Silver Lady Bot, D. D. Snyder. Hell yeah. We're rocking a four-person team! I didn't think this was good. I didn't think we were gonna get, get so many. I wonder if it says, does it say, like, what our team size is right now? Uh, I guess not. I wouldn't be surprised if four is a hard maximum, though, as well, because... Like, how are you going to fit all that many more Pokémon into the dialogue? <gasps> Frog fell asleep! Don't worry, Frog, I got more rocks. Nice. Frog can't talk now. Oh, and it can't move either. Uh, we have a sleep berry, don't we? No, we don't. Uh, unless Pe no, Pecha is poison, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? My belly's a little empty, so let's have an apple. <laughs> uh, and we can just sort of wait out the sleep, right? If I just wait a few turns. There we go. Now's no time for napping, frog. Oh man, the gang is all here. Oh, dead end. <gasps> Another shroomish. Okay, wait, we do this move. Oh wait, we can't go in the water. Oh, okay. Well. And it's time for a, uh, a bite. Do another bite. Shroomish cringed. Shroomish is no longer cringing. It got over the cringe. It learned to... It learned to embrace the cringe. <laughs> Ladybug's like, yay, I leveled up. Ooh, Fettuccine Alfredo sounds nice. Um, granted, I think I'm not the most, the biggest fan of, like, spaghetti and fettuccine myself, but... It's more fancy than what I usually make at home. Oh, wait, let's do this. Oh, uh, this? There we go. Close enough. Oh man, this Lanoon is setting up for something big. <gasps> nice! It got confused. Box it in. Oh, it missed. I, I think I wasted that bite to do that. Yeah, yeah, I leveled up. I get happy seeing others level too. Aw, oh, D's so sweet. Not to be confused with sweet D of uh, every, everything's sunny. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Every, everything is sunny in... Everything is sunny in Pennsylvania. Everybody's favorite... Uh comedy television show. <laughs> Dark comedy television show. It's a successor to Companions on NBC. <laughs> hey, Philly. The Philly boys. Oh, we got a junction. Oh, it doesn't really work, though, does it? Um, can I throw a rock this way? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, D. I hope you don't mind that we, um, eliminated one of your kind. One of your own kind. Well, I don't mind. It's all for the greater good. You're here to save a cat. What are, what are you here for exactly? Oh, we're here to save a Caterpie. Uh, a Caterpie's friend, a Metapod, who got attacked. We got trapped here. And there's this team of meanies who's trying to save him first, but they, they, they mean no good, I tell you. 
Can't trust those meanies. One bit. No, sir. Yay! Man, D's getting them levels. D's levels. Oh, welcome back, Mav. <gasps> Wait, what cream cheese? They say something. Oh, Philadelphia. Duh. Oh, nice. Good job, Frog. No, I was saving the cream cheese for D. D the ladybug. I think I didn't originally intend to just, like, reference all of the Pokemon names from my other playthroughs, but I think I might just end up doing that. Until we get a third gen Pokemon and I have to come up with a new name. Ooh. Uh, we didn't heal up all as much as I thought we would. Because going to his... Getting to the stairs heals you up a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, I'm gonna have Orion Berries. Uh, well, let's just, let's just try and stay safe here. Oh, D can fly over water. That's nice. Yeah, we got a little, we defeat, we got one, like, in the moment, in the dungeon. I guess I'll have to go get another house to, to keep him around. And by, and I do mean M as in them. <gasps> Executor? Wow. Um, we got, we got you two lined up here. Oh, yeah, because Lodestone can float over the water, too. I didn't think of that. Uh, but, I, I mean, I did. I'm a tactical genius. I can throw rocks from here. Yeah, D, you want to go in there? No? Okay. I guess, I guess it's just me and Lodestone fighting this executor. All right. Oh, we do evolve in this game, but it's post-credits. Oh, okay. Well, it's the spoilers. I mean, I I expected that, like, um, you don't evolve during uh, normal gameplay, which I, which I like that. I like that we get to keep some starters. Although it might be fun if we can get legendary Pokemon. Like, it'd be kind of fun to have a Meowth leading, like, a team of legendaries across, across the game. Slack off. Oh, yeah, slack off. Maybe we can maybe we can get the shroomers to join us if we just attack it with regular attacks. Oh no. No 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 luck. We'll get a shroomish later. <gasps> Slagoth, here it comes. Slagoth is very cute as well. It's got high defense, this guy. I love, I love how one, I love how each of you are like thrilled about one of the two Pokemon we just found. Whoops, those are impassable trees, which kind of sounds like you're saying impossible with a thick accent. Oh, Slagoth's basic attack is also. Just, oh, you mean our basic attack is also very weak? Yeah, that's true. Sometimes it hits a little harder. I didn't want to bother using it because we were basically ganging up on him. Well, there's an executor here. Let me try going this way. Yeah, you remember using throwing rocks on a lot of Pokemon? It's true. It's because, like, it's so easy to line up your team in a way that you can't get hit. Or in, in a way that, like, you're too far away to hit him. And so you may as well save your rocks for it. Or use your rocks then. Also, it seems like the stream is on a longer delay than usual, but I haven't dropped any frames to me. Hmm. I don't know, Twitch is not exactly low low latency as much as it likes to claim that it is. We won't, we won't worry about it. Gosh, how many levels are in this place? The mushrooms are also cute. Yeah. <gasps> okay. I want to check out... Or mission objectives real quick. Okay, I guess we just gotta find Metapod wherever it may be. Okay, time to fight the Shroomish. Chomp. Oh man, they're all attacking me. It's because they know that if they beat me, they've defeated the leader. <laughs> they've defeated the leader of the group. Oh no! Uh-oh. Okay, we just gotta wait until I wake up, I guess. There we go. 
Oh yeah, at least uh, at least you don't get ads. Yeah, that's nice. that's true. I think if I ever did become, I mean, heaven forbid, I became like an affiliate or something, I don't think I would bother running ads because like I feel I'd feel bad enough, you know, effectively drawing more money to Twitch than I already do just by being a hobby streamer. Wow, we came quite a ways into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there. Kiki, you know who's gonna get the Metapod first? We are. So for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. W what? We even picked up a third, a fourth companion in, in, the, in the dungeon, which is actually really nice. We outnumber you. Hey, Gengar, don't you realize you're outnumbered? You might, you might have a type advantage, I guess, in your full, fully evolved trade Pokemon, though. Hey, Gengar, why do you always mess with us? My stream is actually weird. What do you mean? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. Oh my gosh, he is James. I was kind of unintentionally doing a James impression. Oh, it has the... Oh, so funny thing. Yeah, I can't... You can't sub to my stream, but the button is there. Um, I did accidentally kind of... Um, become like a, uh, whatever it is, whatever the next level thing, but then I told them to undo it, and I guess that only is partly undone? I didn't think the button was actually there for users. And there's a button for bits, yeah. Yeah, it's... Maybe I need to get in contact with the support. I thought that was only on my end. I thought that was only on, like, the OBS screen. Um... Thanks for mentioning that. I think it's probably, maybe it's been turning away. Maybe I've been like accidentally turning away people who would otherwise watch because they like think my stream is broken. Because it kind of is, but uh, uh, good for pointing that out. I'll, um, I'll see, I'll see about getting that removed because that stuff shouldn't be there. Yeah, channel rewards are disabled. It's true. I mean, they're, they're the ultimate disabled, which is that you can't earn bits or anything. Yeah, there's a video in a chat and that's all you need. Yeah, glad to hear it. Our aim is world domination. To, to denounce the evils of truth and love, Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too in the stars above. That brings us closer to our goal. Kiki, infident, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, frog. All right. I'm gonna open with a rock. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on Gengar because I feel like he'll be the biggest. Oops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to bite because it's a dark move. Uh, I wonder if we can get Ladybot in here somehow. What oh, a curse! Oh, they cursed me. Okay, well, we definitely have to knock out Gengar pretty quick, I think. Oh, there we go. That was big. Bloodstone got a level. Yeah, it says you can't send bits. Yeah, it's it's a long story. It's true, you have to do a lot of paperwork and stuff for an affiliate. I, th I had some idea that you could be an affiliate without having to do certain things. Like, without having to enable everything. Like, I kind of just... I kind of just wanted to be an affiliate for the emotes, but you, no, you have to be like, you have to like hook up your bank account and uh, people are able to sub to you and stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't, kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, dang. Metacham, Metacham has protect? This Metacham? Oh, dang, I missed. Well, hopefully we don't die from the curse. Um. Whoa, Ekans got its leech seat off. Okay, get in there. I'm gonna throw rocks from the back line. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Not giving Twitch that kind of info. Well, I can't I can't exactly hit Ekans from here, but that's fine. There we go. Stones work. Hey D, why are you facing me for? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Does it have a barrier up or something? Manic Sham's attack. Okay, we're no longer cursed. Oh, the curse wore off. That's on you. Does that happen? I've never had a curse. 
I've never had curse on a Pokemon long enough for it to wear off because it, it always chunks away like a quarter of your health. I always just like... I always just get it removed by switching out or something. <laughs> oh, we got a level up in the middle of battle. That's nice. Okay, I think if I do, if I move, I can move towards Bulbasaur's position, but then it'll be, we can do this and still be in the tanking range. We won't move Bulbasaur out of position. Oh dang, Bulbasaur's taking many hits. It's a tanky boy. Wait, we can't use, wait, why can't I use the set move? Am I out already? Oh, I'm already out. Okay, uh, there we go. <gasps> I didn't realize I was out. Essence of garlic and spinach is a real Italian cooking. Oh, you hear real Italian cooking doesn't have a lot of garlic. Huh. Maybe they, maybe you only need a little bit. Oh, what's this? What's this pentagram? Pentagram? Pentagon formation we got. Ah, oh, wow, wow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. It's all with the all with the help of lodestone and D the lady bar. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Oh, it's Metapod. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Metapod looks so sad. Look at the overworld sprite. Oh, it's so sad. Yay. I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. Yeah, it's just like in the TV show. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so happy, sad, crying, sad, crying. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Frog and Pete. Ching, ching, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, but I don't have any money. Oh, no, no. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. Maybe this is why we need a guild, so that we can have, like, the guild coffers can pay people to do stuff. Or, like, provide their supplies or whatever. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. Oh, imagine being a Metapod that doesn't evolve from a Caterpie and you can't tackle. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, you just think that Metapod is tired? Yeah. It does, it could be tired eyes. It just looks, to me, it looks sad. I'm, I'm projecting, maybe. <laughs> that would be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Pete, we should do something with this place. We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. It's cool. The rescue base team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too. Me too. Uh, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> Let's work hard and rebuild our uh, build our own re team rescue team base. Rescue. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I'm so happy. Pete and Frog, thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going home. I was just going to the town square. Uh, well, we ended up working for free, but it was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's team, team a thing or two. So it's all good. That was a tiring day. Let's do some more good work tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Yeah. So do we actually have to add more housing for our new team members? I didn't read the message. And I have the I have the closed captions active on my stream, so I can't actually read them. Oh, you think that they they changed the whole friends to first thing in later games? Yeah. Yeah, I need more friend friend areas. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can go buy some. I think we've made enough money, and I'm not using it for anything else. Pete, good morning. Let's do good again today. Um, hello. Hello. Who could that be? <gasps> it's Jumpfluff. Um, is Rescue Team kind of for here? That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you? The very same Jumpfluff. Wait, I gotta think of a different voice for Jumpfluff, I think. Please help, my friend. Please, I need help. 
Forget about it. We're not about to work for that. Oh, but my friend needs to go to win, please. Sepia tone flashback. Flashback. Flash. 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 Don't. No, fl uh, flashback is like not. No, that's that's a that's a horror movie thing. Probably. When you remember the horrible death of your friend. I remember now the horrible death of my friend. But didn't you have a flashback to show us? I uh, jump love. We saw you in Pokemon Square. We got shift re a dream to a dream agreeing to take on your rescue job. I can read. I promise. Yeah, yeah yes, but Shaftry, he hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Are you serious? Whoa. Our friend Jumpluff got wedged between some rocks. We Jumpluff can go anywhere we want if we catch a wind, but even though the skies are filled with thunderclouds, for some odd reason the winds haven't blown. Earthquakes and the wind is gone? Something's, something's up. Not even a breeze? It's probably all connected with me being here as a, as a meow. That is strange. Shiftry's leafy fans can wick up powerful winds. We thought Shiftry's wind would be enough to dislodge our Fram, but... But Shiftry haven't returned? It doesn't sound like all that challenging of rescue mission. It is strange. Oh? He's got that sparkle on his eye, frog. <laughs> that, that frog. Oh, that's the spirit, Pete. Your expression tells me you're ready. Well, you mean my dancing? My, my neutral Meowth expression? There goes there goes Frog reading and reading his own uh impressing his own feelings onto a neutral expression. <laughs> okay then, we'll go look for them. Really? Thank you. No problem. You can count on us. Let's go, Pete. Gotta check the mail first. Oh uh, alright. Where did they go? Oh, silent chasm, another new place. Alright. Uh, well, it's about time for the midstream break, so let's le do let's le do that. And uh, when I come back, we're gonna go rescue a jump fluff and uh, bring along as many friends as we can. Um, yeah. So enjoy the music, and I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, just a short break tonight. Um, so yeah, I got, I dumped a bunch of stuff in the box and I bought some friend areas. Um, and the snubble is waiting at the, uh, at the bulletin board, so let's, let's see what it has to say. Here, did you know that you could get a reward if you complete a rescue job? Some Pokemon run loose to team because they want the reward. Took me a second to get the voice. Oh, I guess that's it. Man, my snubble. I'm here to tell you about how the job posting bulletin board works. Okay, goodbye. So yeah. I got some I got some more friend areas from Wigglytuff, so let's go see who we got. Wh whom would we like to visit? Oh, we only have two friends. <laughs> I guess let's go bring D and Lodestone with us. It's uh, I think we can also just visit the other areas, right? Relaxing in its favorite spot. Uh, yeah, joint. Oh, wait, do I have... I need to check if I have um, an item being called right now. Okay, so I got some stuff. There's planes. I think this... The western forest, the mushroom forest. There's nobody in here, though. Yeah, I guess the the friends will only will only get friends to go here if we already have the forest unlocked, right? Um, I looked at what um what kind of Pokemon we'll get in these different areas, and I uh... oh, there's so many Mistrys. Is that D? What is this? Hi, D. D's looking this way with a grin. Okay. Um, D, I'm going to give you the Petra scarf so you don't get poisoned. Now come along with me. Oh, you got your food. Nice. All right. I noticed that before, but I forgot to... I didn't comment on it right away. Okay, nobody's in the jungle. I guess we don't have anybody here because we gotta, like, actually get them. Okay. <laughs> boom, boom. Uh... Oh, yeah, I wanted to check if I'm holding anything. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's take the apple. Because I forgot what my uh my Meowth's abilities pick up, which is pretty pretty decent. Okay, uh the Tiny Woods quests are gonna have to wait, because we got Silent Chasm. We gotta go rescue a jump poof. There are too many members on your team. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess we'll leave Lodestone behind because we've taken them on one more quest. We've taken them on one more quest than, uh... Stand by. Stand by, little stone. Man, I didn't know that. Um... I guess maybe somebody joins us on this quest, so we can only have... As many... We can only have three with us starting. That's interesting. Oh, Jump Love is right there. Is that the one that... That got the quest? It looks kind of creepy. That angle of sprite looks a little weird because its mouth is like in between its eyes. Wow, this cliff is steep. Your friend Jumpluff is lost deep in this canyon? Yes, sorry to ask, but please help. Please have a heart. It'll be fine. Let's go, Pete. Wait. Yes, what is it? There's something I forgot to mention. Now, this canyon is known as the Silent Chasm, but it's rumor that an amazing monster sleeps here. The m monster Yes, but it's only folklore. It's also true that Shiftry hasn't returned. I just thought I should let you know. Maybe I should have bought more friend areas. Ow, 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 my stomach, it hurts. I've got an apple. Do you need, Do you need a Rostberry? It's my stomach, it's suddenly cramped up. Ow, ow, ow. I think my breakfast was spoiled or something. Uh, say, Pete, you're feeling sick too, aren't you? Pete, your stomach hurts, doesn't it? I'm like, huh? Well, I'm, I'm fine. Are you chickening out, frog? You're a frog, not a chicken. Uh, uh oh. oh. What's the matter, Pete? I need you to back me. If you're my partner, you need to read my cues better. Well, why the sudden outburst, frog? Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. I mean, he said it was a... It, 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 Jump Fluff said it was a terrible monster. Like, a great and terrible monster, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're, we're like, wait, but we're monsters, frog! We're also monsters! Don't you have a stomach ache? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, yes! Uh, ow, ow, ow! I guess the cramping settled down. <laughs> 
So anyway, you said there may be a monster. What's it like? I don't know very I don't know very much at all. It is an old folk tale. I don't know if it existed or not. Uh, okay, well it can't be helped. Let's just hope that monster doesn't exist. My friend Jumplo should be around basement floor 10. Please take care. Okay, gotcha. Let's get going, Pete. Yeah, that's not as far as uh, the forest that we were just in. I'll have to go down to 10. <laughs> I kind of like this little triangle he had with with D kind of right up on us. I mean, like, oh, what are we, what are we looking at? We got stepped on. Oh, we don't have enough room for more graveler rocks. Wait. That's weird. Can I not just pick it up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and that's that's equipped. Okay. I just wanted to check. And we're just gonna ignore that other Pokemon that we just saw. I already forgot what it was. Oh, Farfetch'd. Oh, crack. Oh, crack. Oh, you missed with your Sand Slash. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe I'll re-equip my, uh, my Bite for now. I feel like that's... That's more useful because of the type... Type difference. Type advantages. <gasps> Teddy Ursa! That's a dangerous critter. Get him, D. Oh, nice. And we have the, the Pecha Berry to protect D from the poison stings. Uh-oh. It might paralyze me. Nice. Good job. But I was thinking maybe I should have got more friend areas so that we would more likely be able to keep uh, any companions we make. I guess we were we got lucky that D was already uh, we already had the area that D lives in, I guess. Or maybe it'll be there if we get the area. I don't know how it works. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> just just instantly the frog just did like a uh, I mean lived up to his namesake. He just he just did like a single katana drawing slash. Like a classic the classic, like, instant killing blow. Oh, what's that? Somebody dropped their purse? A special band. Oh, somebody was gonna get married. Oh, boost special attack, okay. Uh, that might be useful for Frog, actually. Is, is he even holding an item? No item. Okay, let's give him the special attack item. Uh, at least for now. There's not really a better thing we can give him. Unless we want him to throw rocks. I mean, maybe I should give him the Graveler rocks if we get another stack of them. Because he did turn out- it turned out that he did use them. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Farfetch is kind of scary. It'd be, it'd be fun to get one on the team, actually. Like, don't don't write off a of Farfetch. They're they're tough critters. Okay. Oh, the uh, floor's right here. But there's items in this room. I kind of want to get them. <gasps> Dust ox. Whoa. Uh. If I do this, will we- no, we're, we're not lined up properly. Dang. Uh... I, I was hoping to get us in a line so that we'd all three be able to attack it, but I guess that's not happening. Oh, nice. I really like having D for the supersonic. <gasps> but, why'd you use it twice, D? You keep using supersonic. <laughs> Maybe I need to change D's, uh, move priority. Oh, never mind. It's just... It's already higher priority for tackle, so I don't know what D's doing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
radar orb. There's so many weird orbs in this game. Reveals the location of all flows on the flows. All foes on the floor. Maybe we'll use that at floor nine. Or maybe I'll save it. I feel like that's a pretty powerful item. Oops. Whoa. A gloom used sweet scent from all the way over there? That's nuts. And it got us. Got us from like across the room. How does that even happen? This feels like a Chrono Trigger sound font. Those trumpets. This whole sound font, actually. I mean, I guess the Game Boy Advance had similar kind of sound capability to the Super Nintendo. Does that sound right? Well, there's a Hound Hour here. Oh. Okay, we can line up around the dust docks this way. <gasps> it's a... Oh. Careful, frog. I was gonna say, it's a, it's a freaking polywag. Everybody stay quiet. Oh. We woke it up with the growl. I'm gonna try and just, uh... Hit the, hit the poly... Well, hit the polywag a few times. Maybe we can recruit it. Crap. I gotta be careful. Aw, oh, no recruiting. Let's have an Orion Berry before we get killed. I ain't planning on dying tonight. Alright, the Warp Orb. Warp Orb sounds like it's not that great. <gasps> There's two Hound Hours patrolling. Guard dogs. Okay, here's an idea. Let's let's get everybody like out of the uh, thing and we can kind of surround them. Yeah. Go get him, fellers. Good job. Uh, oh, there's ways around here. Thought we were at a dead end for a second. Oh wait, did we start in a room with the exit? I just seeing it now on the map. All right, here we go. Uh, check our belly. We're pretty good. The weather is clear. We're not going to get buffeted by a sandstorm anytime soon. Or maybe we will. All right, Yanma. Whoops. Okay, now we're all now we're all coordinated. The feedback on like when it's your turn to move is is not great, I've got to say. Sometimes I find myself mashing the start button just so that I'll... when it's my turn, I'll, like, point in the right direction. I feel like the game could be a little more clear about it. Oh, Yanma's getting an item. It's gonna escape. Hits. Nice. Good job, D. Uh, uh you know what? Let's let's maybe go to the next level. <laughs> Even though I took a lot of damage there, I've got another Oranberry. <gasps> There's a trap inch like right. Don't don't move, me on There's a trap inch right behind you. At least it's lined up so we can all three of us hit it. That trap inch never stood a chance. Never stood a trap inch. A trap chance. Oh, spinner rack! Nice, let's line up outside the... ...thing so that we can get it. Want a beedrill? Uh-oh. Frog, you might be in danger from the beedrill. Uh... How do we deal with this? Let's do that. Okay, yeah. There we go. 
And if I do this, then, uh, well, almost. I give him a chomp. Good job, D. Move in. Move in for the kill. Yeah, confuse it. Maybe it'll join us if we're if it's confused. Aw, no, no luck. Another polywag. We got another chance. Oh, ouch. I gotta, I gotta back off. Hypnosis. Uh oh. Take that. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let Frog wake up. Oh, that was fast. Okay, I'm gonna watch the map a little more carefully. So we don't just like run headfirst into death. I've got more Orin berries, but I kind of want to save them. Okay, let's uh, let's like rest up for a little bit. Uh oh, <gasps> spin around, coming. a whole web of a string shot. Thanks. I think we're good. I think we're good to progress. Oh, isn't this the place where Jump Fluff's friend is supposed to be? Oh, hey. He came for you. Are you alright? Uh, voice. I gotta remember the voice. Yes, I'm fine, but... Great, your friend is waiting for you. Shiftry's in the bank. Huh, Shiftry? Let's go. Oh, Shiftry's not okay. Listen, are you okay? Snap out of it. See, I knew Shiftry was like a... kind of a jackass, but like not an, not evil, just kind of selfish, right? And Shiftry's gonna be like a rivals to friends kind of character, I imagine. Snap out of it. Or er, forget about me. Get away from me. Get, get away? Wh what's going on? Why did it turn pitch black? It's a gout. It's coming. Oh, I didn't even see what that, what that was. It was too fast. Your dad disturbed my sleep. I have no mercy for meddlers and that includes you. Oh, it is a Zapdos. I saw electric and I was like, there's no way it's going to be a Zapdos. Jeffrey's gone. Gosh, what's a Zapdos voice? I am Zapdos, the embodiment of lightning. If you wish to save Shiftry, then scale Mount Thunder. Yow! Zapdos? So that's the legendary monster. That's not my best voice, but hey, we rescued Jumpluff. Yay, saved! I'm so happy. But even though I'm safe, Shifter's in trouble. Please tell us exactly what happened. Yes, Shifter whipped up winds with his fans and released me from between the rocks. But those winds tore a thundercloud in two, and that was when I, that monster appeared in the sky. That monster? It said it was Zapdos. Did you say Zapdos? Did you say it's up close? Alakazam. Is that- wait, which voice did I give him? Oh boy. A Zapdos. It is one of the legend- no, that's not- that's not his voice. I gave that voice to somebody else. Zapdos. It is one of the legendary bird Pokemon. I heard it had been sleeping for a long time. So, Shiftry broke it up. No. Shiftry's winds were only the trigger. To begin with, the absence of wind there was unnatural. It must have been caused by the rash of natural disasters recently. Zapdos is enraged from having been awoken from its sleep. By the way, have you heard of... Mr. Latre... Latre no, what is it name? The, the... Have you heard of the Thieves' Guild? Shiftry must be saved. I screwed up my own joke. But Zapdos won't be easy. Its electric attacks are wicked nasty. I know that. We will need to be cautious. 
You have lots of special defense, don't you, Alakazam? We'll have true. We'll have two. We'll get go get shift tree. What? That's is dangerous. Zapdos is powerful. It'll be too much for your skill level. Hey, we're not that weak. Besides, Zapdos doesn't scare us, right, Pete? Oh wow, well, wow, well, my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of him. No problem. Pete always does this act. Hey. It's always like a fake stomach ache. It bugs me a little. Hey, what? Hey, wait a minute. We're a rescue team too. We want to help Shiftry. Frog, you son of a gun. Fine. I see that you have courage. Yes. Our two teams should make our way separately through Mount Thunder. We will go when we have geared up for battle. Knowing how strong our opponent is, we have no choice but to be cautious. You should make your way... You should make way for Mount Thunder only when you are fully prepared. Our objective is to rescue Shiftry. Let us find success. Yes, I'm getting excited over this. Oh boy, Pete, let's do our best. Ah, scream to the skies. Rescue team members dispersed to the front areas. If you want to add members, go visit. Nah, I don't want to save my adventure. Nah. Nah. No, I totally should. It's funny, so far we haven't had to like level grind or anything really. I was expecting we would have to. Maybe that's what this, maybe that's what Zapdos is like. About. Like we're not going to be able to go up there right now. Okay, we should be heading to Mount Thunder to do the shift tree rescue, right? But Alakazam said we should be properly prepared before we try. What should we do? We can go to Mount Thunder right now or later, it's up to you. But anyway, let's do our best like always. I want to get some of these other quests done, other these, some of these other jobs done. Um, and I want to see if we can buy more uh, places. Oh, they're hanging out with the, with the snubble. Well, I'm glad to see you back safe. Thank you, but Shiftry's in trouble now. Shiftry came and rescued me. I hope he's safe. And Lombre says. Shift tree was abducted? That's shocking news. Is that right? Shift tree was taken away to Mount Thunder? I wonder what that place is like. It sounds rather horrible. Was he British? It sounds rather horrible. Oh me? I couldn't possibly go rescue him. I I'm just all Bellsprout <laughs> Bell looks so looks so sad, just staring at the ground. Or maybe it really likes the, looking at the flagstones. Wow, look at all these flagstones. Look at how interesting and intricate, intricate they are. Wow, wonderful. Oh, all our homies hate Shift Tree. You won't even give me money if I go rescue him. Uh, no, Jump Love is worried about him. Uh, yeah, do we want to... Let's retrieve all of our, uh, all of our money. Let's see what we can buy with it. Friends are my treasures. You'd like to add a friend area? Tell me about it. Okay, so we can see what, uh, whoops. We can see, like, who lives at a place based on info. Beldum would be pretty good to get. Um, Joe Dude. I feel like I should just buy all of these in case we pick up somebody who lives there. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, we didn't recruit anybody that will be in one of these places anyway. At least not yet. Belnum doesn't, doesn't Belnum only get takedown? Oh, maybe. Oh, so maybe Belnum isn't great, <laughs> a great choice. Uh, let's get one of these expensive ones. I, I'm gonna get the Ravage Field, because Spiro is in it, and then let's get, like, a couple other of the really cheap ones. Just so we have them. Or, you know what, actually... Unless I'm mistaken, like, this one says that a Geodude... So a Geodude live in Mount Deep Green. So if I recruit one on a quest, and then buy Mount Deep Green later, will there be a Geodude there? If that's the case, then I won't bother buying them until we actually, like, recruit some more people. Because I think that makes more sense, right? Uh, 
But so far we haven't needed a lot of apples, so I think I'm going to store them. I think we can put away one Orion Berry, because we're not we're not doing the big quest right away. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like in this game, even a move like Takedown could still be pretty good, right? Okay, we got Mount Steel, a bunch of Sinister Woods, and the Silent Chasm. Um... Well, we're trying to clear out these ones. Let's let's clear out these ones that we already have first. They're only E rank, but that means they should just go really fast. Okay, we gotta get to base with three. Two and three. I just wanted to check that so we get the rest of the song loop. I love this. I'm gonna add... I'm absolutely gonna add some of this music to the stream playlist after... Um... After I've beaten this game. Um, I would add it now, but my, my thought is that... Uh... Oh, no, wait, you're in the eastern forest, right, D? Mist rise. Because uh, my thought is... um, I generally like to avoid having music from the game that I'm currently streaming in the... in the, like, playlists. Even though some of it, even though there's definitely, I had like Pokemon Gold music in there <laughs> when we were doing Gold. Um, but generally, like, there are too many members. The heck, man. I guess some of the, I guess some of the quest areas are like, are also like limited. Is that what you were talking about? Steam, steam size, team size. Okay, D leveled up so fast. We can leave them behind, I think. Help Lodestone. Mr. Ninja Rescue Team DX taught you is that the average person is completely tone deaf. Oh, why? Did people like it better? Is, like, the soundtrack worse in that game? Also, why would you give a Pokemon gummy outside of a dungeon? I think it, I thought it only fills their belly. Or does it boost their IQ? Oh, that's right. It boosts their IQ, doesn't it? So I could... Uh, oh yeah, I should get the green gummy next time we bring D on a quest on a mission. Oh, I should look up the tiny the music for Tiny Woods on on YouTube. Okay. Oh man, that's it's always so disappointing to Sunker. It's always so disappointing to hear that a game got like done dirty with the remake soundtrack. I think the ideal soundtrack for any video game remake is one that um. One that it preserves the original intention, but it stand, but it like is different enough to be worth listening, to be worth like both of them existing. You know what I mean? Like, um, I get the feeling that the uh, uh, what is it called? I get the feeling that the music for the uh, oops. Oh crap! I didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, freaking menus. We gotta go back to Tiny Woods already. Then I should read the comments to find that absolutely nobody recognizes one specific part that's completely wrong. Oh, really? They actually got part of the music wrong? That's unusual. Sorry, I was trying to say before I accidentally left the left the mission area early. Oh, and I didn't save. I gotta not mash through menus. I think that's what bothers me about the menu UI so far, is that uh or UI period. The, the UI bothers me because it's like you can't... It's very easy to mistakenly hit no to stuff. Uh, getting hungry. You'll become famished. You'll eventually lose HP. Okay. Uh, seeds are usually meant to be eaten. But they can be thrown at other Pokemon to unlock their effects. Oh, throw good seeds at friends. Okay, I don't think I have a lot of seeds to throw around, so... Uh, let's accept this one, because it's in the, uh... Oh, a spinner rack. Okay. Well, we got a new Tiny Woods mission, I guess. 
Uh, let's, so let's go get Lodestone and we'll go do that one. And I'll do it properly. What I was trying to say is I think the Super Mario RPG soundtrack sounds like it's a decent remake soundtrack. I was trying to keep it- it's trying not to laugh. What would, a, what would a Magnemite look like that's trying not to laugh? Oh, the remake gets a song- the octave completed. There's a part near the end. Part near the beginning where it goes five notes in a second order. Oh, Nidoran Girl joined the team. Oh, that's why we can't take so many people. Oh, that. The... On frog. Oh, maybe Nidoran Girl will go to the... We'll go to one of the areas we have. It's complete. Yeah, the remake got the octave clean wrong, so it's jarring. You can check the comments for everyone praising it for being perfect and faithful. Aw, oh, man. That's sad. I mean, some of them might just be bots. You never know. Bots have gotten pretty sophisticated. Oh, get out of the way, Wurmple. We're here to save somebody. And it ain't you. Unfortunately. This other Wurmple is on, like, a totally wrong path. I do love this. This music feels very Earthbound. It's It's got, like, a mother sound to it, you know what I mean? Mother series. And this is not even, like, the Earthbound people. This is Chunsoft, who went on to do Danganronpa once they got, like, merged. Oh, we're saving a Geodude. Oh, we're escorting a Nidoran girl to a Geodude. That's why we couldn't bring too many people. Our girl's delighted. Thank you. Nidoran's girl's twosome left the dungeon. Okay. They both got... Okay, no, we don't want to leave. Yes, we want to continue. Boy, I, that that's just bad UI if you ask me. The average person is, is uncap in, unable to recognize the difference. Maybe. I don't- I wonder. I wonder- well- Okay, hold that thought. <laughs> blackout. Blackout. Oh, nice. Oh, this is the rescue sparrow. I thought this was an enemy. <laughs> okay, we can leave because we got both of them now. So now we do want to leave. Yes. Yeah, some people... Yeah, no, I I, I know tone deaf... I, I know of tone deafness um, being, like, a real affliction. Not affliction, but, like, a real circumstance, I guess. But it shouldn't be so many people, yeah. 95% of people. Oh, yeah, I... You know what? I'll close out the stream by listening to it, and I'll, I'll... I'll relay my expert musician opinion. I mean, I do have a degree. Didn't we do it good today? Hey, let's call it a night and get some rest. Like, I've been a... Amateur musician for, uh, how long now? I have to do the math. 18 years, I think? And I have a bachelor's in music. It's not much. But let's check, I want to check the friend areas. It's almost time to end the stream, so let's check the friend areas and then we'll, t <laughs> we'll listen to the, uh, the music. Okay. I just- I just want to check the friend areas and see... Oh, no, I don't think we have any friends. <laughs> and we don't have any new friends. The Nidoran escort didn't count. Okay. Um, I want to end on the town music, though, after we listen to the remake. So let's go here. I guess I haven't listened to this theme a crazy amount yet, just from what little we've played. But I guess I'll find out. Okay, Pokemon... Mystery Dungeon... DX. So true. Okay, uh, let's see. So we want to turn this... We want to add a uh, audio source here.
doing some uh, stream editing on the fly here. Okay, let's uh, turn that off and we'll uh, let's see, desktop audio. This should be down a little bit, I think. We'll do the same as uh, we'll do the same as I do for the stream uh, audio, game audio. Uh, wait, I gotta do this too. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's see, does it go through? Okay, it's a little loud. It's a little loud on my end too. Uh, Tiny Woods. Yeah, wait, I think I have to hear it again. You're talking about like they, they got the intro wrong, right? Yeah, do do I see it? Well, I I I might hear it. Hang on, I need a side by side. Just re dungeon. I think I need the side by side because I like I just can't hear it like right off the bat. Uh, I think this might be the same channel too. Ah. I think I see what's happening. So they have different sound font. There's a there's an octave, right? But it's do 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 do, and then they do do do. But it's there's a, they also add an octave, right? I think it is the same. Wait. It's that they oh they added another they added a non tonal. They added a bell that's not part of the t that's not part of the tonality. It's not part of the octave. There's an extra dink. Yeah, let me hear it one more time. Oh, there's like an ascending. Oh, it's just after this. Okay. doesn't it's the two do 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 of the sending notes so it's not the intro wait which which segment of the song are we talking about i think i'm confused because it doesn't sound significant like there's an extra the remake adds an extra bell that is not part of the octave Oh, that pit. Ba -boo -boo -doo -boo -doo. You're talking about that part? Oh, that is weird. Yeah, the remake does a bunch of other of other stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, it does it uh the xylophone. Ba -bo 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 in the remake. But in the original it's I don't know if it is the 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 difference in instrument at like zero seven seconds. I'm on. I found a I found a video that's like the full soundtrack in one video. But yeah, I I think I I think I am. Uh, let's 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 watch it seven seconds into the thing. Yeah, that bit right. Ba do ba do ba do in the remake, and then. Oh, I so yeah. No, it is jarring because they do they do two things, right? I'll turn on. I'll I'll we'll go back to the regular in game music. What they're doing? So this is this is what's throwing everybody off, I think. And uh, I'm not sure that it is actually a different melodic line, but the instrument, but the and actual notes are different because the original one has. Um, the, the original one has a sequence of thirds, I think it is, going, going, uh, ba -ba 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 -da. and then they, but they do that melody line in, um, 
with a solo bell like like xylophone metallophone instrument so it does sound a lot different because it's like you don't have that third um interval going along along with the melody line yeah that's weird and they also added extra bits and bobs in there they, they added literal extra bells and whistles in the remake that is really weird Funny enough, I think the Super Mario RPG remake soundtrack is, well, a kind of a good comparison here, because I still like the original soundtrack a little better from what I've heard of the remake one. Um, but the remake soundtrack also isn't bad. It's just they make weird differences to the instrumentation. Um, you know, like the, the you know, don't, don't get eaten by the mushrooms, you know, d the mushroom maze mushroom forest maze sound uh song is like is very different in the remake and it's weird it's kind of weird okay well that was an interesting exploration musical theory barely i mentioned th intervals third thirds well uh it'll be and it won't be like all the same third either like some of them will be major and minor to so that everything is in the same key right anyway uh thank you all for joining me i think next time uh, I think next time we'll try this Zapdos quest with Alakazam. I gotta say, I still, I'm, I'm thinking this, this Alakazam guy's kind of shipped me. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thanks all for joining me, of course. Great to have you here, I'm Mako and Mavrentia. Um, gosh, I was gonna say look out for me on Thursday, but no, Monday. Uh, it is a national holiday, but I'll be home because I'm doing, I'm celebrating the time on the weekend instead. So, I should be streaming like usual. Here, I'll, I'll face the camera so that we have Meowth dancing in, pro, in, in portrait instead. Alright, so uh, thank you all again for joining me, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.